Hello everyone, AJ on here, another Ashes the Singularity replay. Spawn the bottom side as the PHC, we have GG the Machine. Spawn the north side as the substrate player, we have Rebellions. Bit unusual, he, these replays are separate from the replay pack he sent me much earlier. But, I'm guessing based on time zones and the smaller player base of the Ashes of Singularity community, most likely it means time zone probably will dictate who will probably see the same person over and over again. Note this is a little bit take number two in casting the replay, due to the fact that I've got to free up space in my hard drive from the previous videos I've got to delete that I've already uploaded. Probably will be seeing them later on this week, or earlier, either way. And do got a little bit desync already showing up or the engineers building all the way all the way back there. Both sides are building up and do got two factors over here. We got the one factory, but I for earlier radioactives, most likely he will be getting cruiser production because cruise Zeus's are excellent versus the early opposing forces of the sub excuse me of the substrate. You get a bit of water in me. My throat's a little bit dry. Go ahead and slow down the replay. And we will see a uh, active uh side from both players. We got Medicare along with three brutes, but no arches really help engage. We'll see the medic you doing some work healing up. Which is getting way outnumbered. About four or five squads to two brutes and one medic. Not exactly ideal. However, the first Zeus is on out. The Zeus is an excellent versus frigates. It has that plasma streeter just to annihilate groups. See the first barrage coming on down. While the there's a little bit DC. The engagement may not actually have happened. In fact, they can shoot beyond the vision range because they don't actually have vision of each other at the moment. Yeah, I turn on fog of war. He's starting to get a vision there thanks to the pan. But I always think there's always a little. There's always a bit of a decent issue in the replays. Going fast on, fast forward. We got the terrain generators being secured up. More. Martyrs are very good at cleaning out these creeps, they just outnumber them very easily. You got an, an AA turret hitting the, the pan, you got the two Zeus, and you got the first big engagement. The Zeus are going ahead and start annihilating this force of frigates, no problem. They're all bunched up, the AOE damage, BOOM! All of those crews frigates are now down, thanks to a couple Zeus. He did lose the Athena that was here. The Athena. There was a Nylad turret here, he sieged it and destroyed it with the Athena, thanks to the Athena. If you go ahead and send out some vision, he can go ahead and start sieging these areas. There's a couple AA turrets there just to deal with pans. However, you do got a large martyr force here. This can make short work of these few brutes. You got eye for some defenses. He needs a send a reactionary force. This force is definitely not large enough for a reactionary force. Two Turidium Generators are currently secured by Rebellions. Third one is on its way to him, as well as this fourth one. So he will be securing up all four Turidium Generators. You only need 2,000 points since there's four Turidium Generators. At plus two per second, as if you capture all four, you will gain have the Turidium Victory in 1,000 seconds. Which is, it gives GG a bit of time to play in order to send a reactionary force. We do got a smarty system here for defense. Smarty system is very good versus uh, cruisers, not cruisers, frigates, because it's so tanky. We got a large assault over here. The two Zeus's are leading the fight. However, there's a heavy annihilator cannon for increased firepower, as well as a pulverizer turret for anti forget damage. One of the Death Blossom launchers, the one that was being built, will get taken out. This one may get taken out by the Artemis cruiser as well. There's another Artemis here. The Zeus are going engaging. There's a drone Murph also flaunting shots. There's a number of Avenger, the cheap frigates for the substrate. The Zeus, their mass AOE damage, they're ripping apart these this martyr armor, so he needs to mix in more and more cruisers. This heavy annihilator turret will rip apart these frigates, no problem. As you can see, a decent issue with uh, 
huge amount of minus health across these units. You should be dying off pretty soon. Over here, do got actually attack over here. It looks like the smarty, all these martyrs were cleaned up. They looks like they failed against the smarty system. The heavy annihilator does in fact go down thanks to the Artemis, but now we do have no more defensive force for them. So this uh, adventure could clean them up. You got some Athena rolling on up for protection. And that smart system still firing upon these units that are currently not getting hit. There is in fact true sight in the game. So he does not see up the cliff, but most likely does have radar vision. It may actually just be hitting the ground in front and actually hitting the unit. I'm not exactly sure. It looks like he's not receiving any damage. Ow. Like I said, desync. Minus 10,000 brute. And counting. GG has a very small army in comparison to his opponent. He only has a 500 army force versus the 2,000. So he's in a bit of trouble. He's also fighting against all the Tyranium generators. So he needs to perhaps reclaim this one. This one's currently undefended. He may not be aware of it. But he should be act, perhaps act sending out individual units to help scout out the area. Such as the uh, Artemis Frigate. Meant for rad radar. Not Artemis. I'm trying to think of the name of the uh, Reconnaissance Frigate. Or PHC. I can't remember the name. But he will be trying to secure this generator. However, there is a flanking force coming on in. While he does have enough force to deal with these units, this flanking force has frigates, in which he does not have a lot of frigates of his own. There's a two here. But they're getting annihilated. And he will, in fact, defend that force. There's a number of Reapers here. Reapers, of course, the higher damage, better against uh, cruiser uh, frigates. Martyrs are great for being just sent out numbers to def defend your uh, units. There's a bit of a force here. He does have a factory, but what he really needs another uh, armory in order to spend his income. He does have... Spending his metals, he needs to spend his radioactives more. He has a huge float of radioactives. So, more armories for cruisers will be in order. Something to spend that metal. As having a, a surplus of radioactive is not a good thing. We do got a single turn being built on the back line iron to help snipe these cruisers and any potential dreadnoughts. You got engagement. He does have the defenders' advantage of forward reinforcements as well as structures to take damage away from his units as well. Which, of course, means structures are going down, but that's not exactly ideal. You do got the smarty system here. Can fire some shots as well. 20 plus 13 metal. That's not exactly ideal. We'll call an incursion force. We do have the Arthur mentioned teching. We do have, of course, a orbital fabricator. We do have drone orbital drone relay, and that's about it. That, not about that is it. Looks like he will manage to push back the Zeus. Actually, no, he's this incursion force will get cleaned up. He still has this nemesis here, which is good against uh, cruisers and frigates, but has very low health. Will get annihilated there. GG is in a bit of trouble. He is ascending a attack, attack out of these frigates, which will probably secure up this neutral point as well as perhaps this Tyranium generator. Capturing one will force his bone down to plus one Tyranium. Which will slow down the inevitable. But he needs to turn around the inevitable. The inevitable. And I guess it wouldn't be inevitable. Ooh, the Sentinel Turret was cleaned up before the engineer building it up before it got finished. That would have been an excellent defensive piece. And he has a tiny little army versus the 5,000 manpower fighting force. 
And I think most of his armies are actually right here. These frigates. Not exactly ideal. We do got... Oh, we do got a sentry for us here. Hitting the radioactives. We'll clean those up. But here, there's a number of frigates here to defend. The sentinels, of course, another variation of the incursion force. A bit cheaper, not as strong. But I love my sentinels. They're unique, so I like seeing them. You can't build them by factories. He is starting to rebuild the force. That sentinel force who had distracted his opponent. Looks like this force will get cleaned up now. He did destroy all the radioact not radioactive metals there. So these incursions are harassing his opponent, which is good. That's what they're designed to do. And he still has his turn generator, but at this rate, he will lose it. He needs to get more and more force. I'm not that sure what he's planning. He did get a couple more armies. This is exactly what he needs. He needs to spend that radioactive, though he needs a bit more metal. He has not secured up this point with metal, and it is attached by this supply line, not through the Turidium Generator alone. We've got some Dominators here. Dominators, of course, have our air superiority fighters. And starting to rebuild these metal generators as well. But with no amplifiers, he's not getting additional income. Perhaps maybe should eye for some refineries to spend that additional metal, but he will of course require metal that as well, so it's a bit problematic. You need to spend income to get income, but you can't really afford the income to spend on it. Since he needs more resource points, even neutral points such as this, or unupgraded points such as this and this will help his income. Especially this down here, it's largely securable. In fact, if you were to send out, of course, you don't really know this. If you were to send out this uh, pan around this direction, you will see a big vulnerabilities and gaps he could exploit, even just through centuries. Force his opponent to react, allowing him to build up a force of his own. And of course, it gained a little bit of income, but primarily you just want to distract your opponent. That's his ideal ID thing. Of course, we have this. Drone uh, Merv engaging this here, but I don't think he actually has a vision of the area. He does have radar, that's why he's firing upon it. But not anymore for some odd reason. He will reclaim this generator once again. GG, he's currently will be approaching 50%. He's currently at 45%. Turinium levels. We do got a sentry force engaging here. He will lose the pan, but he will of course harass the radioactives once again. These dominators are currently spotting. Oh, it's a sentry force. Not good. Which will force his opponent to react. He will send out these units. This may not be enough uh, to engage. These are just only two squads versus a sentry force. Sentries are very strong. Uh, frigates. He's still firing against the orbital drone relay. He will not get it. He needs much more damage against that. And now the sentry is starting to go down because they're distracted. Oh, we got a large attacking force here. Because he's trying to run on through. There's a number of frigates here to defend, as well as a couple smarter, smarty batteries. Smarty batteries will, of course, be excellent for the frigates. We'll probably deal with the cruisers given enough time. But there's not enough. And these brutes are sustaining fire away from them. Oh, he's nobody has claimed this one as well. There may be a bit of decent issue because currently this uh, brute has minus four thousand health. But these guys may not actually be engaging each other. This force may actually well be right here. This point is in fact neutral, neutralized, which means he these units are in fact here. And. And it got just captured the place. So in fact, he just did capture up the uh, that point. This terrain generator is how it is still in favor of GG. Over here, do got substantial army. I mean, a substantial army. There's a large number of, of frigates here. There's a large number of Athenas, as well as a couple Zeus for the frigates. You only need a couple Zeus to really deal with the frigates. Though he could probably use some more medics.
Currently, Gigi has the larger army? Holy crap, when did that happen? Not exactly sure how that happened or when that changed. But now he has a substantial army, which can start claiming up points. And he did, in fact, drop a sapper to claim this turning generator. Now he's laying down various sapper turrets. Sappers are excellent versus... Well, they're cheap. They're not exactly excellent. They're, they're dirt cheap, only cost metal, fast to build. But... And easy, while they're not exactly durable, they're about half the of a third of the health of an emergency turret. But of course, can engage all targets with expected cost. Note that as I said, expected cost, which means dirt cheap. But they of course can actually engage air units as well. We'll be cleaning up this terrarium generator. This terrarium generator is currently his, so it will be evened out. He sent out a martyr here, but did not do anything with the sap Seraph was durable itself. And we'll be cleaning up this turning generator around, so GG is coming back in the game while being on the back foot for quite a bit. He's starting to reclaim some ground. We do got a defense response force here. There is a couple frigates here, well, cruisers here to defend, including the Zeus, so excellent versus this force. We'll annihilate those Reapers. But has sustaining, may get overwhelmed, but it will be very cost effective in return. There it goes, in fact, goes down. The engineer tried to defense, put some uh, defenses down, but was unable to. And a huge number of emergency uh, are now on the ground. This large force is currently getting, sorry, I missed the beginning parts, but it looks like GG's army lost all of its uh, cruisers. There's a heavy annihilator here for that, and we'll most likely will be moot point. Both the army sizes, total army size is currently equal, now in favor of rebellions. We got a bit of a defense force here. Oh, drones. This is what happened. A drone orbital support power was called on in. Resulting in the death of a large number of frigates. We got another Zeus here. Getting overwhelmed. Who did, did do a substantial amount of damage. The Colonel Turinium still counting up in favor of rebellions. Do got multiple smarty batteries. Actually, can't select on them. But they're firing, so I'm assuming they're actually there. So he needs to get some reinforcement. He has a large number of reinforcing cruisers. Do we see any dread launch? We oh, we in fact have advanced sky factory. So we will see some heavy gunships coming on out over here. We still just have. Assembler production, nothing unique or heavy. He's still relying on the tier one base play, which is of course effective, except versus Zeus. Wait, these aren't smarty turrets, they're barrager turrets. So we will have some heavy defenses here. This smarty system is very low in health, so they may want to get sent over engineer to repair it up. The sap turret Sapper is still not building anymore. I think the Sapper is actually cleaned up. I don't see the Sapper model, so it may have moved forward and got or got sniped off. Actually, the Sapper's right there. Never mind. These Barrage turrets are very good versus all targets. You got a large assault over here. However, you got the drone support power calling in. in. No, in fact, it's the Shredder turret calling, bringing in drones of its own to rip apart the cruisers and do quite a bit of damage over time to these uh, well, cruisers. It will rip apart frigates. I th he has used up his metal income, very nice. Though you may need to increase his uh, metal expenditure, perhaps more sapper. Oh, here's the force that went down around this direction. There's a couple of smarty systems here for defense, but not a whole lot. There's, however, a huge number of sapper turrets here. But I honestly don't know who will win a fight between this large force here and here. You've got some artillery being brought in the general area. Very good position. He has very good coverage in the general area. So most likely he will wood away that force through those turrets. While on the low ground, it has very good range and not easily accessible 
lanes of path. We do got an incursion, no, a sentry force being called on in to engage. He's trying to, he's eyeing to destroy that engineer, prevent this annihilated cannon from being built, and the sentry will, of course, clean up the rest of the force, being very excellent frigates. I say the best frigates in the game. Damn it, Mac, why can't you build, let them be built? And now we do got a couple air marauders on the fair. However, there, we did see a couple dominators for defense. And well, we do have a Sky Ender, the heavy AA turret, making short work of these air rampagers. He needs to fall back. He's receiving a lot of damage. These things are expensive. Dominators are coming in to also engage. There goes one of them. And didn't really all not cost effective whatsoever. We'll be hitting the structures now. This does the damage to destroy the listening post. Still receiving more and more fire. So I think this is actually a decent guy. I think he may actually be well out of the area. We got a drone sentry call. Drones being called in. This may have, it's from a shredder turret. In fact, the air marauder is still alive. Do got various units across the field. Do got 150. Okay, there has to be some sort of desync involved with the uh, army size comp composition because these artillery pieces alone would be enough not to cause that. Oh, it just went up to five. No, sometimes I don't know. We got a large air superiority force here, so these air marauders will no longer have any advantage in the. But he's still continuously to build more. This artillery will make short work of the general area. He has radar cover, radar coverage also. We do got this force coming forward, large frigate force escorting various uh, Artemis. The Artemis there are primarily there for sieging the turrets. Another air marauders flying around. The air dominators are now not responding the responding to them. We got this large force here, large reaper force. Though he's losing a whole lot of his own frigates, but however the Zeus is now starting to get in range. We'll start annihilating the force in return. There's a number of artillery pieces that's what annihilated all the brutes. Holy crap! There goes all those units. The one the Zeus in fact are down. There's enough defensive force there to ignore the gauge. But now these drone, the Shredder and drone mergs are being very problematic to the Artemis. Since these are artillery tourists, they can go ahead and send rounds back at their opponent. That air marauder is still actually flying around. There's no anti-aircraft in the area except for this weak Blossom launcher. I say weak in comparison because this is a heavy gunship. GG has actually increased the, the the cap on his metal, so now he will not be store, uh, burning extra metal. He will now be utilizing uh, storing it up for when he deems necessary to spend it. There's still a number of separate turrets here for defense. The tickets are now in favor of GG currently at plus 0.5, soon to be plus 1 once you secure up that point. Oh, we also have a repair bay. Now this area will sustain additional defenses, very durable defenses, as long as he gets uh, more turrets. I say just even cheap smarties, since he has plenty of uh, stockpile of resources, will be excellent for a for good defensive force. And do you have even a dread launch facility? Do we have any dread launch or uh, advanced assembler facility? We do not. Is this a Hyperion? I think that is a Prometheus. I can't really say. It's still very sporadic. But I think that's the Prometheus. I love the Hyperion. Such a durable machine, with including self-healing. Of course, it will be. I consider the GG machine. A uh, horrible joke. I know. I know. <laughs> Don't shoot me. You got a large Reaper army responding to this general area. Those are rebellions have excellent early game, but he does not have exactly the late game sense. He's not getting any 
additional tech or unique options. He's sending these still these forces of Reapers, which is just getting ripped apart by the uh, uh, Zeus. This force, however, should be plenty to deal with the emergency turrets, though he will sustain a number of losses in return. He may send an incursion force to deal with the area. Maybe a plasma storm if he has that technology. Awesome. Oh, plasma storm needs an orbital orbital relay, I think. Maybe not. It looks like incursion force was just called in to see Zeus. No, that is two Zeus, not incursion. He will lose his terrarium generator, evening out the terrarium generators to one to one. Well, two to two. One to one ratio. And you got a large number of Furies in the air. Looks like he lost the Dominator Force. And now he's hitting the engineer, the uh, Harvesters. That is very problematic. And his air rampages will go ahead and start ripping apart the ground forces. GG has really turned around this game. With superior composition. Pretty much I say superior composition. His opponent had excellent defenses. But the Artemis, of course, or ranged units help pick away against those upgraded units. Now this air ramp pressure is going to start ripping apart these forces. And he still just has a reaper army. That's just a horrible composition against his opponent. Seriously, just reapers? Let's see, do you got a... I think that's a drone swarm support power. Something got called in there. I'm not sure what. May have been a reconnaissance... Oh, wait. I see... That may have actually been a reconnaissance drone. It's an air rampager. There's a couple of sky cleaners here, but they're frigates. They're not exactly great versus a heavy gunship. And now Gigi's going straight for the kill. I just realized something. Assume the desync is not uh is true. He has 18,000 spared up uh, floating resources, so he could have easily afforded more factors. No wonder he's spending more and more on Reapers. But that's a. He just needed more factors to spend it all, I guess. So, Gigi's going straight for the kill, uh, going for the opponent's Nexus. The link to the planet. Still has taking out the shields. Of course, it's very durable. Has decent amount of defensive weaponry as well, but just getting overwhelmed. Not a big surprise. Holy crap! Somebody just got blown up there. Maybe with Zeus. I'm not exactly sure. I see a number number of things being called in here and there. I'm not exactly sure what. By the way, GG did a great turn um, back with superior composition in order to deal with his opponent. Nexus has been destroyed. And this is Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.